Today we're building the ultimate VR headset by transforming this into this. Huge shout out to Kiwi Design for sending me literally everything in this video. It would not be possible without them. And if you see anything you like, links will be in the description. Use code SNAIL for 5% off. Item number one, we have the VR Shell Protective Cover. So it's advertised as a perfect fit product and it actually does slide right on there nicely. She looking sleek, let's go. Do I look sexy? Do I look cute? I look per the cute, oh ho ho. <laughs> so it's advertised as a perfect fit product and it does honestly fit perfectly. I was a bit skeptical, but it lines up great. So this is supposed to be scratch proof, dust proof, waterproof, most of the proofs. The front of it has all these bumps in it, which is supposed to help with shock absorption. I wouldn't recommend throwing your headset. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. But overall, I think the coolest thing is just the design. I like the color. It just looks really cool. So overall, for $16.99, I think this is a pretty fair product. It doesn't make your headset indestructible, but it can help with scratches, and I think it looks pretty cool. Next product. Whoa. The extended controller grips. Now, these are really cool because they come in a bunch of colors. I went with black so it can match my other headset. In my opinion, this is the best value item you can get on the Kiwi Design website. And here's why. <laughs> oh, baby. I actually have another VR headset, the Valve Index. And this thing is a beast. Higher frame rate, it has a greater field of view, external audio headphones, but perhaps the most immersive part of this headset is the controllers. They have these knuckles that you strap into, so when you're playing the game, you're actually not even holding the controller. It just becomes part of your hand. Compare that to the Quest 2 and, well, eh. But now, with the Kiwi Design Extended Controller Grip, you see something that's pretty good. As you can see, the same grip control as the Valve Index. It also lengthens the controller. It's more comfortable in your hand. The material itself is incredibly comfortable. And if you'd like, you even have the option of attaching an additional pad to where the knuckle grip is. And one last cool feature that I love about these is the battery compartment. So in the normal Quest 2 controller, you have to kind of slide this piece off. And it always makes me a little nervous. I'm going to snap it. I don't know why, maybe I'm just clumsy. And then you get to the battery that way. But on the Kiwi Design controller, there's this little barn door and you can just pop it right open and get easy access to the battery. No need to slide everything off. Thumbs up. For $34.99, these are a bit pricier than the last product, but I think this is the single best value item out of anything I'm gonna show you today. For a mere $35, you can upgrade your controller experience to that of one of the best headsets on the market. I love the Valve Index, I use it all the time. It's also $1,000. So rather than spending all that extra money, if you take your Quest 2, spend 35 bucks, and get a controller experience that mirrors the best headset on the market. Next product, the upgraded fitness facial interface. So Kiwi Design was kind enough to send me two comfort straps, and these are incredibly soft. And they also sent me the sports sweat one, in case I'm going hard in Beat Saber and wanted to absorb my moisture. That sounds gross. Super easy to install. So I was really hyped to receive this facial interface. I don't know about you guys, but my Quest 2 was sent like this. And then there was this problem with the facial interface. So they were like, oh yeah, like come get your free silicone layer for free. Thing is that it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit no matter how hard I try it. It does not stay on properly. It drives me mad. And so I'm really hyped that Kiwi Design came out with something else that I could use. Very comfortable. And another feature I really like about this is these little nose flaps. These little nose flaps it has right here. Anyone that's used a Quest 2 before knows that there's a little bit of light leakage that happens right at your nose. Like if you look down, you could see the world below you. And it's not experience ruining by any means. But having these little flaps here to block that off makes your experience that much more immersive. And if you want to switch to the sports strap, you just peel this off and plug this one right in. The two comfort pads and the athletic pad come in a package for 46 bucks, which is a bit on the steep end. But if you're not gonna be athletic in your headset, if you're just a casual gamer, you can get the two comfort pads for just 35 bucks. Fits well, it's comfortable, and when you're building the ultimate VR headset, you wanna be as immersed as possible. Next product, Big Rhino. Whoa. <laughs> Full immersion. This is just silly, but hey, we said we were building the ultimate headset and here we are. Wow. Where do I even begin with this thing? The comfort battery audio head strap. This thing is a beast. First, let's give a lesson on head strap comfort. One of the flaws that comes with the default head strap for the Quest 2 is caused by its lack of balance. But the basic idea is that the Quest 2 sits on your face very heavily and there's nothing in the back to support it. So it puts a ton of pressure on your face. This can lead to discomfort, pain, and even worse, red marks that stay on your face for the rest of the day. Ugh. But something this head strap introduces is a counterweight. So as you can see, instead of all the weight being on the front of my head, it's pretty well distributed to the back now too. Less pressure on the face, more fun in the VR space. Am I looking at the camera? I can't tell the pass-through's not on. It also comes off your head like a cool convertible car. Very nice. 
It also has this cool adjustable strap on the back so you can tighten the headset to perfectly fit your head. One of my favorite things about it is the external earpieces. And look what we have here. Boing, boing, boing. Not only do these earpieces sound great, they also have this really cushy fabric on the end that sits right on your ear. It's kind of warm and snuggles your head. Overall, a great immersion boost. We love those. But perhaps the most important feature of this head strap is right in the caboose. It's comfortable and it's better audio, but it also comes with a built-in battery pack. Or if you're like me and you're in a long recording session for VR and your headset dies and you lose your mind because you've been playing for two hours and all the footage is corrupted and gone, <laughs> This headset can help prevent it. I usually get two hours of battery life out of my headset, but the head strap can add an extra five hours of playing, which is night and day. Overall, this head strap's gonna run you $120, which is not cheap. But with all the value that comes with it, it's something to consider, especially if you're building the ultimate VR headset like we are today. Next product! Last but not least, we have the fanciest looking box of them all, the charging dock. So this charging dock comes with absolutely everything included. You get the dock itself, these little rechargeable cases that slide onto your controller, looking much like this. And it even includes rechargeable batteries, which is something I didn't even think about. The charging mechanism for the headset is really cool, and it just shoop, connects like that. I think the theory is that you can keep it plugged into your headset at all times, and then just plop your headset down whenever you want to charge it. Boom, easy. Now it's worth mentioning that if you have a super sturdy battery pack like I do, you know, maybe the recharging dock isn't that necessary. It's not as fast as if we had no battery pack at all and we could just leave the piece in at all time. Another big bummer is that the rechargeable pieces are not compatible with the cool controllers. Ah, oh, I'm so bummed. Cause make no mistake, rechargeable batteries is a huge time save. Like I hate replacing my batteries out of my controller, but at the same time it sucks cause I like these controller grips even more than I like the rechargeable batteries. So some sacrifices will have to be made. You can still rest the controller here, it's just not actually charging anything. The dock itself charges your headset about an hour faster than if you use the original cord, but I think my favorite feature is just the neon lights. I used to store my headset safely in a drawer, but now I can mount it proudly on my desk, and I think it just adds a cool aesthetic to my room. For $100, the charging dock is a bit on the pricier side, and I honestly wouldn't recommend it if you have the wireless pack or if you have the controller grips here, because otherwise you're losing value, it's not as effective. But if you haven't made all these extreme upgrades and just have the baseline headset, then this charging dock's pretty cool. Super convenient and looks really cool on your desk. But with that in mind, we've officially constructed the ultimate VR headset. Thank you again, Kiwi Design, for sponsoring this video. Links in the description for all these products. And remember, use code SNAIL for 5% off. Thank you all for watching, and remember, stay chubby. Grrrr.